get this, a judge in Connecticut ordered a new Democratic mayoral primary in the city of Bridgeport after the stunning surveillance footage shows workers allegedly stuffing absentee ballots in an outdoor ballot box. Eric Sean has the details, and I bet he can say mayoral better than I can this morning on a Monday. Hi, Eric. Good, good morning, Dana. Well, Bridgeport, Connecticut's going to take the unusual Jeez. step. They're going to hold the Democratic primary election after tomorrow's general election. And the reason, as you said, suspected voter fraud in the September Democratic primary. Take a look at that security video. It appears to show, well, there are two women stuffing a ballot box with votes. Supporters say those ballots were from family members. Critics, though, say they were illegally stuffing the ballot box. But the two women, one a local Democratic official, the other a former city council member, well, they took the fifth when asked about it in court. Incumbent uh, Bridgeport Mayor Joe Gannam defeated challenger John Gomes by 251 votes out of more than 8,000 cast. Gannam denies any wrongdoing by his campaign. But Gomes challenged the law, saying those videos show that uh, 420 people used drop boxes, but they had more than 1,200 votes in those drop boxes. So a judge ruled that the images showed, quote, credible evidence of possible ballot harvesting. That's when you submit multiple ballots for other people. That is illegal in Connecticut, except if you're handing in ballots for relatives, if you're a police, a local election official, or if you're a caregiver. Drop boxes are not the problem. People who break the law are the problem. Why we're in this situation is massive absentee ballot fraud by operatives within the Ganem campaign. That is what caused this, and that is why we're here. Well, again, uh, Gammon's campaign denying any wrongdoing, but officials say this does appear to be a local issue isolated to Bridgeport, and the state has appointed an election monitor to keep eyes on tomorrow's election. But get this, Dana. Ready for this one? Judge uh, uh, Mayor Gannon, well, he was first elected back in 1991, right? Then he resigned because he was convicted on corruption charges. He served seven years in prison. He gets out of prison. They reelect him as mayor. He's back in City Hall. We'll find out tomorrow if he's elected to another term. <laughs> back to you. <laughs> Almost sounds like a movie, but it is real life. All right, Eric Sean, thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.